to celebrate Taylor Swift's Eras Tour thing movie, um, here are 22 reasons why Taylor Swift is not good. I know very little about Taylor Swift, but you don't need to know any more than a little because Taylor Swift doesn't really contribute much to anything. I've only ever heard one song by her, Shake It Off, and I know she's hot, and that's about it. So I know she's hot, and she writes stupid songs. Songs about going on too many dates, like that's a big problem, that's her big problem in life. You know serious issues and that's the first reason that Taylor Swift is not good she's hot and she has stupid songs why is that a reason why Taylor Swift is not good well what if you're ugly and you write good songs or stupid songs I guess you're not gonna make it in this world reason number two she's rich and by rich I mean like insane um, evil rich like too much money where you know there's no excuse for you to be letting people starve or freeze to death too much money like you have two more houses than you do have than you have uh, I don't know time to spend in them uh, rich as in you must have been making a lot of money for whoever is above you like your producer or the stadiums or whatever so for every dollar you've made you've made somebody else a thousand dollars somebody who basically gives nothing back to the world and keeps bad systems going reason number three she's famous why is that bad because fame is not what it once was fame in this day and age is terrible and it distorts it screws up your mind you can't do anything without it ending up um, CGI'd into like pornography or uh, having every email you've ever written spilled out. Your whole life story being uh, open to everybody. That's not what fame used to be back in the day. Nobody in the right mind would want to be famous in today's uh, world. I should note that most of these reasons bleed into each other and all of them contribute and work together toward her being not good. Reason number four, sex. I've seen little clips from her era's thing, and she is dressed quite provocatively, and that is not good. Uh, you shouldn't use sex to sell anything, such as especially art. Reason number five, it's not, she's not good for kids, okay? For a few reasons. Um, firstly, uh, she's selling sex to them. She's, uh, she's talking about how real problems are going on too many dates. Uh, it makes girls feel ugly because she's too hot. Um, and probably a million other reasons. Oh, well, another reason is because kids now are trained to, uh, appreciate very low quality music about dumb, dumbass crap. And it's not just kids that are listening to it it's adults and the adults are acting like children because they're listening to music about going on too many dates number seven too many bells and whistles uh you got you got dancing you got fireworks you got sex you got ridiculously expensive music videos um and it just dilutes the the quality like the uh it dilutes the experience that music should be. It shouldn't be an overload of the senses. Like, for example, you could listen to a... You could watch a Taylor Swift video on mute and still enjoy it. So it wouldn't even be the music and you'd still be a Taylor Swifty, A Swifty. Reason number eight. She is not an artist, but she's playing the role of an artist. So, in fact, she's a con artist. Now, when, what do I mean by she's not an artist? I mean, well, you know, you could say everybody's an artist. Everything's art. You know, like when I when I take a leak that I'm doing art, a flower is art. But there are levels of, quali like, of quality of art. So like a Mozart symphony is a higher level of art than somebody whistling when they walk down the street. And if you want to say that all art is equal and, you know, blah, blah, blah. 
you want to use that argument that there's no it's all in the eye of the beholder it's all subjective then you've just put every art critic out of a job all art criticism all philosophy in fact is out of it's all out of a job there's no point in talking about anything really i mean you're you, why have sports why have the olympics when it's about who's the best if everything's equal and if you're gonna if you're gonna have quality control over or observe the quality of sports why wouldn't you observe the quality of art uh, why is she not an artist well that's because as before as i said before too many bells and whistles um she has how many writers who write each of her songs with her so she's not even the writer of her songs her own songs that she wrote they so she was so she would have us believe Oh, and before you say give her a break, she's young. Like, she was 20 when she wrote about how she goes on too many dates. Well, there's lots of 20-year-olds who are reading, uh, you know, quantum physics, listening to Bach, and uh, playing, studying chess. Okay, not every kid is an idiot. Actually, a lot of them are smart. So getting to back to uh, Too Many Writers, I just looked it up on Wikipedia, that Shake It Off song. Okay, here's the credits. Uh, Taylor Swift, of course she gets songwriting credits because they always do. Uh, but overall, okay, we got like mastering, engineering. This is all stuff that makes the song sound better. Um, recording. Uh, okay, Max Martin, producer, songwriter. Shellback, producer, songwriter. That's two other people that wrote the song. And in, I would guess they wrote all of the song. She just wrote the stupid lyrics. Uh, reason nine, not only does she have other writers, she barely writes anything of her own. And if there's any evidence that there's any song she's ever written where she's got the only credit for writing it, then I'm wrong. And if, and if it's good. Reason ten, the genre itself is the lowest form of music. So even with all those other writers and producers, and recordi recordists. It's still the worst kind of music, the lowest form of music. Why? It's just verse, chorus, verse, all in the same key, nothing interesting going on ever. And that will be proven in the years to come, when that music fades and is never played again. When's the last time you heard a Madonna song? When's the last time you heard a Britney Spears song? The music dies. It doesn't have longevity because it's recyclable crap. Recyclable, cr recyclable crap as in uh, Taylor Swift is doing what Britney Spears did and somebody will do what Taylor Swift did, do is doing now. They'll be doing that in 20 years and they'll be the new 20s, the new Taylor Swift and blah, blah, blah. Reason 11. She writes for the time she's in as in, like, I don't know, there's a term for it, but it's going to be dated. Like, she's using words like, fellas, boys, we going to get down. And in 20 years, nobody's going to speak like that, right? There's word like, groovy is not used anymore. And if she's referencing, like, if she references, like, uh, you know, George Clooney or, um, you know, Britney Spears, nobody's going to know who that is in, in 30 years, in 50 years, certainly not in 100 years. Reason 12, bells and whistles within the music. So even within the music, there's really cheap tricks. Um, you know, like auto sync, or what, I don't know if she does that, but all sorts of things. Or like beats that are, that are bought and reused because they're popular right now. Uh, the, very, the very fabric of her songs is cheap. Reason 13, cliche, terrible lyrics. I'm going to read the lyrics to a song by her that I've never heard, but I'm just going to read them now. Okay, so here are the lyrics for a song called Antihero. Okay, she goes, I have this thing where I get older, but just never wiser. Wow, that's crap. Midnights become my afternoons. Oh, wow. When my depression works the graveyard shifts, all the people I've ghosted stand there in the room. Oh, ghosted. That's a cool new term that's only come about within the last few years and will be gone soon. And notice how she connects graveyard with ghosted. Oh my God, that's deep. I should not be left to my own devices. They come with prices and vices. I end up in crisis. That almost sounds like a joke. Um... 
I, re I wake up screaming and dreaming. One day I'll watch as you're leaving. That doesn't rhyme. Because you got tired of my scheming. Hold on a second. I got to think about that one. Okay, so firstly, she wakes up screaming and from dreaming. Okay, is that ever going to be addressed later on in the song? Or is that just it? <laughs> and then she goes, one day I'll watch as you're leaving because you got tired of my scheming. So why... That doesn't rhyme. Why... Is she, why what is she scheming? Is that ever going to be addressed later on? Like what the hell? What's scheming? What kind of person schemes against their boyfriend? I mean, who's ever who's ever schemed against their boyfriend? Why would you even use that word? There's cheating. Maybe she schemed to cheat? Cuz scheming isn't the same as cheating. And then she goes, "It's me. Hi, I'm the problem." I guess that's like her showing vulnerability. <coughs> wow, look at that girl and William Shakespeare over here. At tea time, everybody agrees. Tea time? I'll stare directly at the sun, but never in the mirror. I see. So she, she's brave against like the sun, but she can't look herself. I, it must be exhausting, always rooting for the anti-hero. I, I don't know what that means. Actually, though, I'll give her that. Yeah, that thing about staring in the sun but not in the mirror. Okay, she's got one good line so far in the in the in the song, and I th I'm betting we're halfway through. So, <laughs> sometimes I feel like everybody is a sexy baby. What the hell does that mean? And I'm a monster on the hill. This this could be written by somebody in grade one. Pierced through the heart, but never killed. Ooh, did you hear my covert narcissist? Oh, now she's a now she's a psychi psychiatrist. Did you hear my covert narcissism? I disguise as altruism. Well, that's always what our covert narcissism. That's 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 like a double. That's redundant. I mean, covert is a synonym for disguised. So, covert narcissism disguised as altruism means I disguise my narcissism as altruism. She could have just said that, or she could have just said she's a covert narcissism because. What kind of covert narcissist doesn't disguise what they're doing as altruism? But that's okay, because her fans don't even know what covert narcissism means or what altruism means. Like some kind of congressman? Okay, so she's, a, she's addressing every single job. She's a, she's a psychiatrist, a congressman. Um, I wake up screaming from dreaming. One day I'll watch as you're leaving, and life will lose all its meaning great it's me hi i'm the problem it's me at tea time everybody what's going what's going what's with tea time who the hell does tea time are we in england uh i'll stare directly at the sun never in the mirror it must be exhausting always rooting for the anti-hero who who's the anti-hero in this who is she rooting for i have this dream my daughter-in-law kills me for the money she has a daughter-in-law i guess she thinks i left them in the will the family gathers around and reads it and someone screams out She's laughing up at us from hell. That does none of that rhymes. So that thing about her having a dream where, you know, and then she took everybody out of the will and she's laughing at them, that's more like a diary entry than like poetry. And then it just repeats the thing about tea time. And it's funny in the uh the credits for this, it doesn't even list who wrote the lyrics cuz it's that stupid. Nobody cares. <laughs> it's not even. <laughs> it's not even. <laughs> and and the, one of the songwriters is Jack Antonoff, songwriter, producer. Like he did everything programming, drums, uh, recording, right? And of course, Taylor Swift, she gets the songwriter credit. She gets a songwriter credit for every song she ever sings. Uh, I'd like to know if there's any song in her whole stupid career where uh, she doesn't get a songwriter credit like one song at all in fact i bet if if she did a cover of somebody else's song she would still get a she'd still credit herself as one of the songwriters me and a friend were once joking about one of that song shake it off and how insulting it is to anybody who's really going through something you know like you know, a hater's gonna hate 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 and i'm just gonna shake 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 it off and we were joking about how like Raper's gonna rape, 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 rape. But I'm just gonna shake it off. Bank is gonna, f and the bank is gonna foreclose. 
Can't pay my student loan, but I'm just gonna shake it off. I can't afford my insulin. Robber just broke in, but I'm just gonna shake it off, right? Cancer's gonna spread. Soon I'll be dead, but I'm just gonna shake it off. Reason number 13, I think. I'm probably getting the numbers wrong. She is a scab. She's a scab. You know, if you don't know what a scab is, a scab is somebody who, during a strike, continues to work. So let's say you're an actor and all the actors are on strike, and you're like, well, I'm still going to work because I need money. So you, you let your union down, and you're basically a traitor to your, to your profession. And I'll tell you why she's a scab. She's not a scab in the technical union ter sense, but she's a scab in the larger sense, in that she's betraying all artists by selling out, by diluting music into a stupid music video when there's, you know, some ugly girl out there trying to play music and trying to make a living, and she can't afford to have five songwriters help her out. She can't afford to have an expensive video made. And that girl out there is not going to stand a chance to ma at making it, making a living, because of Taylor Swift selling out. Or to give another example of these scabs, uh, this, let's say that you want to make a comedy TV show, right? Well, you got to compete with The Simpsons, who has a team of like 20 writers, so you're never going to, it's going to take, it's going to be so much harder for you to make a show that can compete with that. So those writers are scabs because they're getting paid a lot uh, so that this show can do well and they're making it harder for every other c comedy writer out there. And the saddest part about these scabs is that they're, they're helping, you know, the bigger, the bigger person, the bigger guy, whoever's above them, like the producer, make the most money, Right. Nobody can name any of the writers of The Simpsons, for example, right? So they're selling themselves down the river. Reason 14, and I'm not even going to explain it because I've already explained it and I'm going to continue. It basically, it's a, everything falls under this umbrella. She is immoral. Reason 15, as a, I've already explained, but it needs to be said. She is part of a corrupt money-making machine which is the music industry. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if she, you know, bypasses the record companies and goes straight to the theaters. It doesn't matter. She's not bypassing the, the overall machine. Reason 16, because there are songwriters and musicians out there who are good, and that makes her bad. For example, I once met a girl... And she told me that she's a busker and she plays music and she sings her songs on the street and she does it for money. And she, she, her dream in life is to quit her job and to just live on the street and play music for people. And I asked her, have you made a CD? And she said, no, I don't believe in that. She said, I think that takes away from the personal experience of the, of the music and that when you hear it, when you hear me play, you should be hearing me playing like right now. Um, I don't believe in, and I'm like, that's the most inspirational thing I've ever heard. And I've never forgotten that. And that inspired me so much. And, you know, kids are going to grow up not knowing that there's people like that out there. And they're going to think that the only, what, what a real, a real musician, a real songwriter is somebody like Taylor Swift, who sells out to like everybody and has these stupid, stupid ass songs and, and performs in, in, sports arenas and oh and they have to be hot too you know that that's what an artist is and it's that's really depressing and disheartening not just for non-artists not just for artists but for non-artists and just for everybody uh reason 16 she's part of this whole youth is king culture which is just bad it's not good um there was a time when we would look up to our elders and that time is gone and Children and teenagers should not be dictating uh, art, let alone like anything really. They sh they shouldn't be dictating what's cool and what's, uh, uh, yeah. It's not it's not good. They're not responsible. They're still growing. Yeah, I just did two reasons sixteens. I'm not very good at math, and I, this isn't about how I'm good at math though. So hey, um, reason. 
the final reason, number, would I say there's 22 reasons? Okay, so reason 22. The line is blurred between folk music and high-level music. Now, once upon a time, only aristocrats could hear the uh, high-level music, like Mozart and Bach and all that, the classical music. You'd have to be noble or rich to even be able to hear a symphony or something like that, right? And that's how folk music came about, because they had to make their own music. And so then you got flash forward to the you know uh, 20th century. You got Bob Dylan showing up, and he's basically just doing folk music. It's not high level music, but it's it's uh, you know he's talking about the gripes of the day and blah blah blah. But now the line between folk music and high level music is blurred. And on, on the one hand, it's good because anybody can afford to hear a, a stupid Taylor Swift song. But on the other hand, it's bad because. It is no longer high level, like as in the quality of the the melodies and the chords is piss poor. And it's no longer folk music and that in that it's not addressing anything real like, say, Bob Dylan would. So those are my 22 reasons why Taylor Swift is not good. But I do appreciate that she's hot. And everything I said about Taylor Swift, that also applies to every single person in the music industry industry uh, everybody from Beyonce to Jay-Z to the stupid rock bands that are coming out now I don't even know if there are any anymore but they all suck everything sucks wait no not everything sucks uh, independent people independent artists do not suck uh, and the good news is that things are going to come full circle. Vinyl's making a comeback. People are going to buy records again. People are going to start going to see live bands that are not Taylor Swift, right? They're just going to go to hear, hear live bands in bars. Um, people are going to stop watching as many movies. They're going to start reading books again, physical books. And people are not going to... People are going to start buying actual paintings that were painted by somebody, not just JPEGs online. So it's all going to come full, full circle because it has to. Because people like Taylor Swift, reason number 25, uh, people like Taylor Swift have destroyed culture because, you know, what's the culture? I don't know. What is it? Is it Taylor Swift? Because if it is, then, like, I'm certainly not part of it. If you support gays, click like. If you respect blacks, comment. If you think women are people too, click the notification bell. And if you care about sick children, subscribe.